Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about the difference between exact and inexact numbers. Pretty easy. Here we go. All right, so in science we have both exact measurements and inexact measurements. Okay, exact and inexact numbers. And honestly, the concept is pretty easy to understand. Uh, an exact number means you have no uncertainty in the number. Okay, it is in fact an exact number. All right, uh, the easiest you know examples that I can think of this would be like one dozen is exactly twelve. Right, if I went and got a dozen donuts, it would be exactly twelve donuts. It's not eleven point nine nine donuts. It's not twelve point zero one two donuts. It's twelve we're done, right? That's one dozen. If I had like one quarter, that is worth exactly 25 cents, right? It's not worth 25.1 cents. It's not worth 24.9999 cents. One quarter is worth exactly 25 cents, right? Other exact numbers would be if you were counting the number of people in the room. That's an exact number, right? If you're <laughs> like in my room currently, there's only one because it's like one in the morning when I'm filming this, okay? But there's one, there's one of me in this room, okay? Uh, if I was counting the number of people in my house, one, two, three, it's not gonna be like 3.444 people, mm -mm, right? So you're talking about exact, no uncertainty numbers. There you go. Versus inexact numbers, okay? there is uncertainty. There is a level of uncertainty and this is going to be any thing that you've measured. Any data you collect in the lab. Okay? It is absolutely impossible to get an exact number from your data in lab. Right? There's always going to be some level of uncertainty. Let's say you or weighing a sample of sodium chloride, of salt. You go to the scale, you put your sodium chloride on the scale and your little scale uh, reads out. Why am I gonna draw you a scale? This is a terrible idea. Okay, so I go to my scale and I put my sample on my scale and then my scale reads out you know, 4.2 grams, okay? Is that sample exactly 4.2 grams? No, it's not, it's inexact, it's rounded, right? It might be in reality 4.19999 and that scale rounds it up to 4.2 and we're done. It might be 4.20000, who knows? Okay, but it doesn't show that precision. We are, we are estimating there is some level of uncertainty there, okay? So any, anything, anything that you get from lab, any kind of measurements, anything that's not an exact number, obviously, <laughs> would be an inexact number, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Good luck with your measurements and exact and inexact numbers.